day two in Yellowstone. And we are making a tour of many different views of the same waterfall, which has been really cool. Yeah. hiking a very steep trail that's going to be a bit of work hiking back up <laughs> we're going down to the red rock lookout point for lower Ye uh, lower yosemite lower yellowstone falls we are in the grand canyon of the yellowstone which is what it's called of the yellowstone because it's all yellowstone oh is that where it got its name i think so Oh, the more you know. I'm guessing that's why they call it Red Rock. This rock formation is just, I mean, stunning. Not too shabby of a view. I realized how big Yellowstone actually is. It's hard to visualize until you're actually there, at least for me. Inside the park there are two ring roads that create kind of a figure eight. We stayed on the west side of the park in West Yellowstone. Upper and Lower Falls, which we visited in the morning, are in the northeast section of the park. And the paint pots are just north of the west entrance from West Yellowstone. Most of these sections of the park we had to drive to because they're pretty spread out. Along the main road there are signs that lead to small parking lots with pathways that lead to the different features. This one led to the artist paint pots and mud pots.
Most of the features in Yellowstone are superheated by the volcanic activity down below the Earth's crust. And these paint pots and mud pots look like they're bubbling because they're boiling. And while they're still pretty hot, most of the bubbles coming to the surface are being caused by gases like CO2 being released down below the surface. <laughs> here in Yellowstone in the evening and there's not a lot of people out but we did just get warned beware of the second geyser it sounds it's spewing all over the trail sounds ominous but i'm excited to see what that means <laughs> rickety old boardwalk Ryan and i almost didn't come out here because we were pretty beat just decided, oh, screw it, let's go, we're here, let's go see stuff. And it's just breathtakingly gorgeous. There's been a storm going through and it is creating some amazing light. There's some beautiful clouds you can see all behind me. And then right over here, you can see the storm. Right there, right next to Ryan's head. <laughs> It's been like, today has been storming all over the place. Like there were some pretty big storm cells that moved through. Yeah, I'm loving it. I love storms. Best weather. It's the best weather. It's the best weather to photograph in. It's the best weather to be cozy in. It's the end of August and I feel like I should be busting out Christmas music and hot cocoa right now. And I don't hate that. <laughs> Whoa, he wasn't kidding. Beware, the guys are. <laughs> Look at that bad boy go. Oh, awesome. This is just phenomenal. What a beautiful day. So cool. Up here, back that way. Yeah, just like the pinks and the oranges. This is just astonishing. I I have no words. This is just a beautiful evening. It's so good for my soul. is what he was talking about. I think what he was talking about is right there. Because it looks like this guy was spitting hot water right here. And we just missed him. I just can't stop looking at this.
I am such a fan of paint pots. They have such a like soothing, bizarre, enticing sound. I don't know. Maybe it's because it sounds like bubbling food. <laughs> idea hmm. to design a hot tub hot tub hot tub <laughs> I think it would be cool to design a hot tub that looked like this scratchy <laughs> We're having dinner with Old Faithful. I feel like we got the best table in the house. Mm -hmm. The sky tonight is amazing. I feel like we're having one of those evenings that we'll remember for a long time. Look at that sky. <laughs> 